Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to Formby Golf Club here in the northwest of England and I'm here for the PGA Seniors Championship on the Legends Tour. In particular, today I will be playing in the Celebrity Pro-Am. So I'm going to be joined by Stephen Dodd, who was the winner of the 2021 uh, Seniors Open Championship. He won a couple of times on the European Tour and uh, won the Order of Merit on the Legends Tour last year as well. So he's our pro. Our celebrity is Chris Hollins, uh, former winner of Strictly Come Dancing, BBC Sports presenter. And we're also joined by Andy Sullivan, who is the average golfer. I know that many of you watching this will know his channel from YouTube. If you don't, I'll put in a link below so you can check him out. But we're going to find out how we get on in this celebrity pro-am. Best two scores from four on every hole. Right, let's get started. You're a bit of a veteran of these legends too. Veteran, pro, full stop. Pro -am. Yeah? Well, yeah. What is it that you like about it? Halloween. Halloween. Well, you, well, one, you play at some fantastic golf courses. Two, you meet some great people, apart from today. Um, and three, you test yourselves alongside, you know, some greats. Uh, and I really enjoy that. And today, I'm testing myself mentally, but we'll get there. We all are. We all are, it's fair to say. But um, the, with the pros, do you find that I guess it's not quite as intimidating maybe as playing with the top sort of European tour, PGA tour players, no, but maybe you get a little bit more out of it because they're a bit more relaxed. Is yeah, well, fair? I mean, I've played with some great, I mean, I played with Rory in his pomp, you know, on, well, uh, at Wentworth, and they're playing a different game, you know? Oh, a yeah. different game. Whereas these guys, you, you can relate to it a little bit more because they're you know, hitting it. I remember, I remember playing at Wentworth with Rory McIlroy, you know, the par three up the hill, mm. and it was 190 yards. And he hit it to four feet, and I said, "What did you hit?" And he said, "An eight iron." At which point, I'm like, putting my clubs in, chucking them into the bush, and going, "Right, that's it." It's just, but this, you can relate to. <laughs> you can relate to it, and they're still very, very, very good. Aren't they? They're still yeah. on another planet. <laughs> Where you get it is the short game, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you think, "Oh, it's 50 yards out," and you know they're down in two. No question, it's yeah. done. What's the the big le biggest lesson you've learned from playing with these these guys, these top players? Maintain your own rhythm. Don't get faster and faster and faster and faster, which is it's so difficult. You've got crowds, you think, I've played one match, oh, I've yeah. got to get back to it. Um, but just play your own game. Right. As I go into the bushes <laughs> and try and find my ball. Keep that thought in mind. <laughs> Where are we going? Okay, so 10 or so holes in, and uh, as a team, I think we're playing pretty well, actually. Andy, average golfer, doing very well indeed. Uh, Steve is incredibly consistent. We'll talk about more about this at the end. And Chris and I playing a similar sort of game, highs and lows, but um, I think we're sort of dovetailing fairly well. I think we've got half a chance of maybe appearing in the prizes. He says, undoubtedly, Things will go downhill from here, but we'll see.
we've had a great day. We're obviously out with the celebrities, which uh, makes it all the more better. I didn't realize we were a four ball actually, till our celeb decided to turn up on about the 10th or 11th hole. <laughs> but no, we had some good fun out there. We're just trying to get a feel for the course as pros. I think uh, learning, uh, learning the course, where to go, where not to go, just, just the feel of the place, pace of the greens, how they're reacting when we're pitching and chipping onto them. So it's that, that's what we're trying to get at today. Uh, there's a bit more intensity tomorrow, clearly, with, uh, with the pro score counting tomorrow. So uh, a bit more intense, try a little harder. So that's how it's different. Be a bit more focused and, uh, on our games. Well, it's, it's obvious that you're going to be nervous, but to say try not to be nervous is probably a stupid thing to say, but just go try and enjoy it. We've played with good golfers, bad golfers, all levels of golf. So. There's nothing you're going to do that's going to surprise us, so just, just go enjoy it. I got to play with Ian Wisdom today. He was great company. He was very helpful to my golf. I feel that I've got a lot to work on. Obviously, I've got a lot to work on. Um, but it's a, great, it's a great series. It's a great event because you meet lots of other, obviously, really good golfers, but lots of other um, really good sports people and other people from um, whatever entertainment business they may be in. But it's competitive. It makes you... You know, it challenges yourself, and it's it's good to have that competitive sport and environment again that you, that I was lucky enough to have. And um, unfortunately, when you're a jockey, you can blame the horse, but when you're playing golf, you can't really blame whatever make of golf clubs you're using. Golf is a mental challenge. Honestly, I found being a jockey relatively easy. I know it was quite dangerous, and I ended up in hospital quite a lot. But I do feel that golf is mentally scarring me much more than horse racing ever did. And Philip Price, what a magnificent professional, really nice guy. Thoroughly enjoyed his company, but his back must be killing from carrying our team today. It really must. Not only do you learn, do you watch and study their game and, and try and copy certain areas, you know, I wish you could copy everything, but you know, if you can try and pick up a few a few tips and then you can ask questions. But to see, look, I can see him in the background, he's back on the putting green practicing for tomorrow to see to see that kind of dedication still on the senior tour is is absolutely brilliant. And um, it was it was great to, to see it at close quarters today. Do it, you know, you, you won't regret it. You'll have some days where you get frustrated, but more often than not, you'll have days that you, you come off just loving the game. And um, for those moments, for those shots, for those, for those times when you sink a putt, it's all worth it. Okay, so my round in the Celebrity Pro-Am is complete. How did we get on? Well, uh, despite thinking for a long period of the round that we were gonna win, we ended up finishing eighth, which wasn't great. We sort of, sort of just fizzled out a little bit at the end of the round, but it doesn't matter. We all had a fantastic time. And actually, for me, I played all right. I've definitely played worse golf. I've played better golf, but I've played a lot worse golf in my time. And I, I haven't played golf for a couple of weeks and stood on that first tee. I was really, really quite nervous. It possibly explains the opening tee shot that I hit, which was abysmal. But once that was out of the way, once I'd sort of come o overcome the sort of humiliation of that opening tee shot, then actually played okay and just thoroughly enjoyed the round of golf. A few key findings for me would be how good it is and how interesting it is to play alongside a player of the ilk of Stephen Dodds, somebody who's clearly just a very, very consistent, very good ball striker, really in control of himself, player, just watching him go about his business in particular, just earwigging a little bit into the conversations between himself and his caddy about how each shot gets mapped out, particularly the ones that look difficult. You know, having that positive mindset going into every shot clearly is something that these guys are very, very good at. And that's something that even me as a as an amateur golfer can pick up on and maybe hopefully try and take into my own game going forward. Great fun playing with Chris Hollins, a really good bloke, very easy to talk to. Learned an awful lot about Strictly Come Dancing and the behind the scenes element of that show uh, over, uh, from his experience of it. And then also seeing Andy as well, really nice guy, uh, got off to a great start. He possibly fizzled out a little bit towards the end, but he certainly was probably responsible for the lion's share of our points, I'd say. And then on top of that, just the whole atmosphere of this celeb series event it is really relaxed. It's really good fun. I think it's designed to ensure that the players who, who play and who compete have a great day, a memorable day. 
out on the golf course. So if you are somebody who is tempted by experiencing something like this, then you will find out a few things about your own golf game that you maybe you don't want to find out. But I think predominantly, you're gonna have a great time. You're gonna really get an insight into what the pros are like and have a, have a day to remember especially if you get the chance to play a golf course like this one, which is absolutely fantastic. So there you have it. That's my look at the Celebrity Series ahead of the Stayshore PGA Seniors Championship. And if you are interested in competing in something like this for yourself, I will put a link below to the Legends Tour where you will be able to find out more information. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.